A fishing town in Iceland is on high alert due to the possibility of a major volcanic eruption at any time. The town of Grindavik is broken and scorched. Uh, yeah, that volcanic eruption could come at any moment. There were, I think, 600 new earthquakes. Enormous fissures have opened up, caused by hundreds of tremors. Iceland, the beautiful land of fire and ice, is preparing for a catastrophe. A possible volcanic eruption is impending after tens of thousands of earthquakes have rocked the island nation in the North Atlantic. Seismic activity has fissured roads, shut down tourist attractions, and led the government to evacuate an entire town in the potential path of an eruption. The Icelandic Meteorological Office said there was a significant likelihood of an eruption in the coming days. So what do we know about this potential eruption? What are its risks? And why is Iceland home to so much seismic activity? Join us today as we delve into these burning questions and uncover the terrifying situation that is unfolding in Iceland. Since late October, the region surrounding the Icelandic capital Reykjavik in the southwest has been experiencing an increase in earthquake activity. Around 900 earthquakes have hit southern Iceland adding to the tens of thousands of tremors that have shaken up the south of the country in recent weeks. At one point there were as many as 1,400 in a single 24-hour period. Authorities declared a state of emergency and ordered the mandatory evacuation of the town of Grindavik. Grindavik is a fishing town on Iceland's southwestern peninsula of Reykjanes. It is home to 3,800 people. The seismic activity has caused the town to sink three feet, and the earthquakes opened up deep cracks in the roadways west of Grindavik, closing the streets and making travel impossible for the foreseeable future. Then the government began work on building defense walls around a geothermal plant near Grindavik, a main source of power for the country, to protect it from lava flow. The Svartsengi geothermal power plant provides electricity and geothermal water to heat houses to a population of 30,000 in the Reykjanes Peninsula. If there's an eruption, the trench is designed to prevent lava reaching the power plant, causing outages and disruption. The famous Blue Lagoon, a geothermal spa about 4 miles north of Grindavik that draws tourists to its steaming water, has also been closed as a precaution. Authorities have not issued an evacuation order for Iceland's capital city Reykjavik which is located 43 miles away from Grindavik, suggesting they believe it wouldn't be affected by an eruption. Scientists have linked these recent earthquakes to the movement and spreading of magma, which is around 3 miles underground, meaning that magma is moving closer to the surface. Magma is a mixture of molten and semi-molten rock beneath the surface of the Earth that can cause an eruption when it finds its way to the surface, becoming lava. Scientists discovered an underground river of magma that is about 15 kilometers or 10 miles long, moving upwards below the Earth's surface. This runs under Iceland and part of the Atlantic Ocean, and the impact of an eruption on the country will depend on where exactly the magma breaches the surface. According to the Icelandic Meteorological Office, land in the region has risen by 9 centimeters since October 27. The greatest area of magma upwelling was in an area 2 miles northeast of Grindavik. Authorities fear that molten rock can rise to the surface and hit Grindavik first. The Icelandic Meteorological Office estimates that currently the magma is less than 1,000 meters from breaking ground and as a result the likelihood of an eruption is high and could happen in the coming days. Scientists are monitoring the situation to examine the flow and proximity of the magma to try to predict the likelihood of eruption and its projected intensity. Iceland, a country of fewer than 400,000 people and about 130 volcanoes, has a long history of volcanic activity. But why is Iceland? an island of just 103,000 square kilometers or 40,000 square miles, home to so much seismic activity? The answer lies beneath the surface. Iceland is located on the 40,000 kilometer long, mostly underwater mid-Atlantic ridge. This ridge is the meeting point of the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates. As the two tectonic plates move apart, magma from the Earth's mantle rises to the surface. Even today, 
The country is growing by about 2.5 centimeters per year, as it splits wider at the points where the two tectonic plates meet. Iceland is located on a mantle plume, where magma is especially close to the surface, which explains why land formed in this spot in the middle of the ocean, and not elsewhere along the tectonic ridge. Since the Middle Ages, a third of all lava that has covered the Earth's surface has erupted in Iceland. These conditions have made Iceland home to 32 active volcanoes. In fact, Iceland is very used to volcanic activity, successfully building a tourist industry on it. According to the Civil Protection Agency, which used models built from data collected in the area, the newly discovered 15 kilometers long magma corridor now stretches from just northwest of Grindavik into the Atlantic Ocean, and an eruption could happen anywhere on this corridor. So the next question is, what can happen if the magma erupts? Experts say if the magma erupts beneath the sea, it will be more explosive than if it erupts on land, though an eruption on land would be a greater threat to Grindavik itself. It could become explosive if the magma interacts with seawater. If a volcano erupts offshore, or erupts on land and then flows into the sea, then there is the risk of an explosive ash cloud as the super hot rock comes into contact with the water. If it erupts undersea, it could cause a large eruption similar to the one that happened in 1963 in Iceland that created the island of Surtsey. That particular eruption lasted several years, so this is a possibility. The evacuated town of Grindavik is very close to the position of the new fracture, and its survival is far from assured. Everything depends upon where magma eventually reaches the surface, but the situation doesn't look good for the residents of the town. Scientists say they cannot rule out the magma tunnel reaching Grindavik. The lava can potentially threaten the town of Grindavik and the Blue Lagoon. Geothermal pipelines that supply hot water to thousands of homes are also under threat. There also might be a risk of toxic fumes and air pollution as a result of the eruption. The end of the magma corridor goes into the sea, which means the eruption can occur on the ocean floor, which would likely cause a large ash cloud. Volcanic eruptions also pose a serious hazard to aviation because they can spew highly abrasive ash high into the atmosphere where it can cause jet engines to fail, damage flight control systems, and reduce visibility. Iceland's tourism website said it's impossible to conclude whether flight travel will be impacted if the volcano erupts, but added that while the possibility of air traffic disturbance cannot be entirely ruled out, scientists consider it an unlikely scenario. Iceland has faced this situation before as well. One of the most extensive eruptions in Iceland was back in 1783 when there was a flood of lava which lasted for eight months and produced extensive sulfur clouds which hung over northern Europe for more than five months and is estimated to have caused cooling of about 1.3 degrees Celsius for the following two years. Then in 2010, the eruption of the Eyjafjallajökull volcano was also one of the most disruptive eruptions recently as a result of an extensive ash cloud, causing widespread airspace closures over Europe and costing airlines an estimated $3 billion as they cancelled more than 100,000 flights. But the Eyjafjallajökull eruption of 2010 was quite different as it was associated with a shield volcano topped by a glacier. It was the interaction of the magma with ice and melt water that made that eruption so explosive and dangerous for aviation. The circumstances of the current volcanic activity are very different and therefore such an extensive impact is not expected. Right now, scientists are closely monitoring the situation at Grindavik and all signs point to an eruption occurring any day. Yet scientists say it is impossible to predict when exactly this eruption will occur. But there is no cause for panic as Icelandic authorities and the public are highly prepared for such events, and Iceland has one of the world's most effective volcanic preparedness measures. Stay tuned as we hope to bring you more updates on this situation in the upcoming days. Leave your thoughts about Iceland in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.